everybody, Sanchez, and we're back here with another review, and it's none other than Tar Man 2 from The Turn of the Living Dead, done by Once Customs, and I'm here with my co-host, Deadeye, who is the cameraman. And this piece is a piece that I owned, sold out of necessity, regretted it, and got it back, thankfully. And it is absolutely, to me, I think it's one of the coolest Tar Man pieces ever. Uh, and there's very, very few of these done by Once Customs. And as you guys can see to the left of it, I have uh, Karos's uh, Tarman barrel, the Trioxin barrel. And uh, it is an absolute beauty, and we're gonna get into that a little later. To the right, I have the Once Customs Tarman 1 keychain. And to the back of it, I have a fully sculpted Return of the Living Dead tombstone, painted to be like the logo. I'm not sure who the artist is, but it is definitely it just incorporates everything and makes it into what it needs to be as a display. Now let me get into the Tar Man. I absolutely love Tar Man 2. I think the look is really cool. I like that they try to do something different in the sequel as campy and as bad as the sequel may be and people are not into it. I think it's great. Every Return of the Living Dead, each three have their own different feel. The first one is obviously amazing. The second one is campy as hell. The first one is super comical, so is the second. And the third just has a different feeling for me. But this one, I love the look of Tar Man more than the first. It's really, really well done, I think. It's got more of a human-esque form in the face and it's more articulated. Uh, he's not fully deteriorated away in the face as the first Tar Man was, which he was mostly bones. And uh, let's get into the piece. We're gonna start at the bottom. Now, we're gonna start with the one part that some people might have with this piece is that he has kind of like tar man shoes. The feet are so blocky and thick that, you know, it, it kind of loses the effect of a, of a skeleton. But if you think about it, it kind of gives off the vibe at the same time as a man in a uh, prop outfit suit. And it really, I think, plays the part. And it truly, truly shows, you know, what it would be like to be in an outfit if you were in a movie. Now moving up, you can see that Montwain sculpted the kneecaps, you know, all the bones in the legs, and then he put this material over it and melted it and made it look like tar, and he painted upon it and really, really took his time, and I think he made everything look flow really well. I think this piece is one of the better Tar Man pieces he's ever done. I do believe this is the first one he ever did, and this is a pro prototype, and I believe there's only two of these? There might be three. But as you guys can see in the, his middle section on his abdomen, you can see all the sculpted intestines that he has in there. It's dark, but it is present. And uh, it's not just straight black tar. It's got browns, it's got reds, it's got yellows, and all different hues of colors. Now moving up to the chest, you guys can see the sculpted ribs. And I really, really enjoy how he did this. He kind of, you know, sculpted it put the tar over it, painted it, and gave a lot of variation in the paint on the ribs. And uh, I absolutely love how he did it. And moving on to his arms, I think, are really well done because they don't lose articulation at all. You can move those arms up and down, the elbows and the ball joints, the hands there. It's fully articulated, and I think it's absolutely well done. Uh, to me, Tarman, his proportions were always wonky and I think ones really captured the proportions really well because he had so much tar on him, you couldn't really necessarily tell what was clothing, what was tar, what was what. All you could really clearly tell was the skeletal st structure and really the face sculpt, what it would look like. Now, moving up to the face sculpt, you guys can see that this Tar Man is completely different than the original Tar Man and he's got a gritty grin his eyes, uh, his forehead has got all these wrinkles and he's melted. And he's completely different than the first Tar Man because the first Tar Man, let me get a head on shot for you guys. The first Tar Man had a uh, absolute skeletal look to it like if the tar melted him to the bone. But this one has a little bit of meat left on there. He actually has some hair. Once I turn the piece around, I'll show you. But it is absolutely Beautifully well painted, and once customs actually got it exactly like the movie. Absolutely like the movie. Let me turn the piece around for you so you guys can see the back of the head, and you guys can see his spine, which is a shame that it's in the back. You guys can see he has some melted hair, sculpted neck, 
and you guys can see the spine which is absolutely absolutely beautiful as it has tar dripping everywhere now I'm gonna move the piece back now once custom sculpted a, a base and he put a decal in the return of the living dead and the base is just dirt with some grass as you guys can see and you guys can see that Montuin uh, sculpted some brains because obviously you know the return of the living dead that's what they feed upon is brains and I think it just incorporates everything now to the right we have the once customs keychain which he offered back in the day and uh, I think it's a cool little accessory to add to your Tarman if you guys collect once customs Tarmans and it has the Tarman obviously in there and then over here it's propped up on a dog tag chain and it says zombie man keychain once customs which is an absolutely cool necessity and I put it on a base that I sculpted just to give it that look and then over here as you guys can see I have the tombstone and I think it's absolutely, absolutely well done sculpted uh, muddy ground and dirt then you have the sculpted tombstone and the paint on it is absolutely perfect like the first movie was and it just really absolutely pops it's got some weathering going up the stone and it's got the texture perfectly greedy and the back is sculpted as well and I just want to give thank you to the person that traded this for me it's absolutely something that I want as soon as I saw it so thank you so much and then to the left, we're going to get to the a really interesting accessory, which is the Karos Trioxin Barrel. Now, there was two people that tackled this barrel. Vita Metalli did them, uh, a few of these, and Karos did these. So these are very hard to find. They're kind of gems in the hobby, and uh, they're absolutely beautiful. The paint is absolutely well done. It's got the proper logo and tagging on there. Call 1-800-454-8000, department of the army in case of an emergency and as you guys know emergency do happen the inside you have the tar man from the tar man one this is the trioxin barrel from the first one there are a few variations of the crow's barrel ones with the cracked glass and tar man and the tar oozing out i love the fact that the lid shuts and opens i think that's absolutely well done and it's painted to perfection this one is specifically extra grimy, so definitely, definitely a piece that I'm glad to have. And I think it's an absolute necessity if you own a tar man. Now this piece, I tell you, it weighs about two pounds, two to three pounds. You can curl with this. Absolutely beautiful. It's got the corrosive sticker on there, which is perfectly labeled and placed in. Like I said, just the overall package together, I think is really well done. Now I'm going to give you guys a perspective shot of everything together. And just imagine that in your display case. I think that's something beautiful. Tarman, it's uh, one of the lesser known characters, uh, but definitely stands out and is, uh, I think, a staple of the horror community. And I think it's definitely an awesome piece to have in your collection, especially Tarman 2, because not too many people have it. I do have a Tarman 1 possibly coming, working on a trading deal right now, so we'll see what happens. Maybe I can pair them up and do a future video. But until next time, guys, conquer your collection, and I'm going to have my cameraman do the up and down and show you guys everything. Thank you. Peace. Daniel Turzon. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking can't do it. All right, I'm doing it right.
right now. <laughs> Shut the f up and keep the camera steady. I'm just gonna get past the intro. We're good. <laughs> Shut the f up. I'm not <laughs> laughing. Don't even breathe. Three. What's going on everybody, Sam Shows, I'm back here with another review and I'm with my co-host Deadeye and we're 